I know you real, but I'm realer. Certified West Coast kitty cat killer. Yeah, killer. Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a video that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and that is the multitasking challenge, aka get ready with me while I also answer your questions and tell you about my life and update you guys. This seems like a really impossible video to do, but nonetheless, here we are and we're gonna try. In my last video, some of you guys said that, you know, I really like your videos and I love your vlogs, but we wanna know more about your life and like how your life has changed and update us and I, I know that I should have done that a long time ago, but I don't want, I didn't want to because when things aren't good, you don't necessarily want to share them and when bad things have happened and you haven't necessarily recovered from it, <laughs> excuse me, it takes some time to really change your life and feel like that was really in the past and I'm no longer upset about that and I'm not so sure I'm really at that place still where I could be like, yeah, it still really sucks. It's I'm still not at the place where I want to be. I'm still not at a place where I'm like proud and outgoing and you know, all that stuff that I will be later on. Proud and outgoing, woohoo. Anyways, so yeah, I'm still gonna be doing my makeup and answering you guys' questions. Do you like my shirt? I love it. Okay, so I grabbed a scrunchie and I'm just gonna put my hair back before I use my Nebulift. In the last week though, I have been using it every single day because I'm trying to see if it's gonna help with my like smile lines here, my cheeks. Use the gel, which is, this is a botanical soothing gel. I put a few pumps, turn it on, and I use it at the fullest speed. I've already mentioned this before, but for those that are not up to speed, the Nebulift is a micro RF device, and it heats up and delivers radio frequency tightening and skin rejuvenation. It's an anti-aging device and it feels so nice. I would even say that it's one of the most relaxing parts of my morning just because it feels like you're getting a massage. Already better. So I always do my eyebrows first just because I feel like eyebrows make a huge difference on me. This is the makeup look that I'm trying to emulate. So I fill them in with really light tiny strokes. You guys know the deal. You know how to do your eyebrows. Do you guys see that? Holy shit. You know what's really funny? Now that we're on this topic, as you guys can tell, I have freckles on my nose here that go all the way up here. I actually got them tattooed twice at one of these like really trendy new places that does teeth bling and like tattoos. I got my brows laminated and then I got freckle tattoos. And those were like two very trendy beauty things that I went out there and did because I thought that it would enhance my appearance. If I could, I would remove them. Obviously there are very strong lasers out there that remove tattoos and I don't want to do that around my eye area, but I'm just kind of thinking right now that I have to go see a dermatologist to get some sort of like cream, prescription cream that would help remove this pigmentation. So yeah, that was a mistake I made. A lot of people give me compliments on them and they're like, oh my god, I love your freckles. And I'm like, are they just trying to be nice to me? I don't know, <laughs> but anyways, yeah. This is the Anastasia Brow Gel. I've been using this product since like 2015 and maybe even earlier and it keeps my brows in place all day. I spoke about this little guy in my last video and this is the Rodial Banana Low Lighter. I was watching a Michelle Phan makeup tutorial and she kind of does the same thing with like a very, very light concealer is she'll do this like teardrop effect. These are all the high points, you know, of my face. So that is what I'm gonna highlight. And for foundation, I'm using Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. So I don't have very many bronzers, but the one bronzer I do have just so happens to be like three bronzers in one. So I was experimenting once upon a time and I tried using this really light shade. It basically looks like a white setting powder. Well, not white obviously, but it's really, really, really light. And I use this really lightly underneath my eye and around here. Because when I brighten up around here, like the teardrop thing, that really, really helps me look more alive, awake, like I wanna be here. I have this one contour stick from NYX. At one point, I had a habit of like buying their lip liners every single time I saw them at a store. See, like I have no idea what I'm doing. I know that everyone wants to watch someone that knows more than they do, but just wanna remind you guys that I don't think that I'm very good at makeup. I don't think that I know more than any of you. And I am more than happy to be corrected and told the right way to do things because I like to learn. Looks like she's wearing brown eyeshadow all over her lids, so 
I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use something that you can't get anymore. This is my ColourPop palette. I made a collection with ColourPop like in 2017, I think. So I'm gonna use this color all over my lid and then this brown shade kind of in my crease. And then I can go over it with this sparkly color. This was actually a fire collection. So I can't lie, I was just looking at my YouTube video and there are some people that are just so not nice in the comments and so assumptious of others. Is that a word? We don't like speaking about the haters here. We don't even refer to them as haters because honestly, whenever I think about that stuff, I'm like, why would you ever hate me? Like if you actually sit there and hate me, I'm not offended by that because I know that you must be really distressed. Something must be really wrong in your own personal life to go out there and hate me because I'm not doing anything offensive. I don't hurt people. I am a nice person and I know that and so it's just so strange. At the same time, not very much positivity and kindness and tolerance is being taught and it's not normal really in, in our current state of affairs. So we have to be strong. There are some people that were offended in my last video because I said that I don't even speak Russian and what I meant by that, if you had listened to my sentence, which I understand not everyone speaks English and maybe I translated it incorrectly, but I said, I don't even speak Russian here as in, in LA. And somebody even said like, you know, she like speaks it with her friends and with her mom. And honestly, like I didn't speak to my mom for a year and a half and I didn't speak to any of my Russian speaking friends for many years. So no, I, what I said is true. Like I just don't speak Russian here. Maybe I shouldn't have said that at all. I was just trying to express the fact that I'm not ingrained in the Russian culture. No Russian speaker is giving me information about what's happening. I don't have the inside scoop. I know as much as somebody sitting in like South Africa currently reading about Russia. I'm sorry that that offended people because that's certainly not what I wanted. I do want to speak Russian, obviously, what the hell. I'm gonna teach my kids Russian. That was probably a predictable response, like what could I have expected really? Don't make assumptions, please. I'm not here to be a bad person. Anyways. So I'm gonna line my waterline with a black waterproof pencil by Urban Decay. I'm gonna also line my lower waterline. <laughs> so I use the Dior Lip Maximizer Lip Gloss when I'm almost done my makeup because by the time I am done, I can apply my lip color and my lips are moisturized as well as plumped. Eyebrow brush, I wet the brush and I'm just gonna use it in one of my brown eyeshadows. So I'm using a brand new mascara today. I bought this morning the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Extensions. I googled while I was at the pharmacy like best drugstore mascaras 2022 and this one came up. For those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, you don't know that I recently lost all of my eyelashes doing exactly this. So every time I curl my eyelashes, kind of re-experience all my eyelashes being ripped out. I was doing this and my boyfriend came up behind me and my ass and I just ripped all of my eyelashes off and had a bald eye. Guys, <laughs> this mascara is actually phenomenal. I mean, yeah, it's pretty good. This is like definitely one of the better mascaras I've ever tried. I hope that you guys can tell. In the picture, she had some sort of nude lip, so I'm gonna be using a NYX lip pencil. It has a pretty brown undertone. So another makeup trick that I've been doing recently is using a bronzer underneath my lip. This is something that I actually learned from my stepmom, I guess, in Russia, like years and years ago. She told me that this makes your lips appear bigger by creating a shadow. I see a lot of products like coming out that are supposed to do this, but you can do it with um, a bronzer as well. I'm gonna use a highlighter as per usual. This is by RMS. This one actually by Tower 28 and this one just looks like sticky dew. It makes no sense, but it just literally looks like gloss for your face. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and thank you for your positive comments. Thank you for your feedback. 
and thank you for continuing to watch my channel and be my friend. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video which is also coming very soon.